Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Campus. I'm Odrita, and today we are diving into level one of our Python development internship at Cognizant Technologies. So let's get started. Task two is temperature conversion. In this video, I will show you how to write a temperature converter program in Python that converts between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So let's just dive in. It. So what first? Let's just make a Python file. I'm giving it the name temperature underscore converter. You can give it any name. Let's start by printing a header for our temperature converter. In this line, print a header to make our program look neat and organized. Here we are printing temperature converter, and in the next line, I'm printing few dashes to make it look like a header. Next. We begin our while loop to continuously run our program until the user decides to exit. Inside the loop, we will print a message prompting the user to enter C for Celsius or F for Fahrenheit. Next, the line prompts the user to enter a temperature value and converts it to a floating point number. Next. This line prompts the user to enter the unit of the measurement, strips any leading or trailing white space, and converts the input to a uppercase. This ensures that the program handles both small c and capital C, or small f and capital F correctly. Next, we will add the logic to check the unit of measurement and perform the appropriate conversion. Next, the if statement checks if the unit is capital C. If it is, we call the Celsius to Fahrenheit function. Pass the argument and store the result in converted underscore temp value. We then print the converted temperature. The elif statement checks if the unit is capital F. If it is, we call the Fahrenheit to Celsius function, pass the temperature, and store the resultant converted underscore temp variable. We then print the converted temperature. If the unit is neither capital C or capital F, the else block prints an error message. Here, we will define both the functions later. Now, we need to check if the user want to perform another conversion or exit the program. So. Here we have added a line where we ask the user if they want to continue or exit. Here, the strip method removes any leading or trailing white space and lower converts it to the input to lower case. This makes the program more flexible in handling different inputs. And then we check if the input is not yes. Then we simply exit the loop, printing a message exiting goodbye if it is yes then the loop continues now let's just define both the functions so here we will be defining two functions to handle the conversions one function will convert celsius to fahrenheit and the other will convert fahrenheit to celsius here the function celsius to fahrenheit takes temperature in celsius as input and converts it to Fahrenheit using the formula Celsius into 9 by 5 within bracket plus 32. The converted temperature is then returned. Next, this is Fahrenheit to Celsius function. It takes temperature in Fahrenheit as input and converts it to Celsius using the formula Fahrenheit minus 32 within bracket 
into 5 by 9. The converted temperature is then returned. So that's all. Now let's just run the code. So at first giving the value 32.5 and the unit C. So it converts 32.5 Celsius is equal to 90.5 Fahrenheit. Next, just convert another temperature. So I'm writing yes. And giving another temperature value 20.9. Here I'm writing Fahrenheit. So it converts 20.9 Fahrenheit is equal to minus 6.1666 that's a long number celsius and now i don't want to perform again so i'm writing no this simply exceeds the loop and it is showing exiting goodbye that's all for the task two and that's it for our temperature converter we have successfully created a program that converts temperatures between Celsius and Fahrenheit. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I will be uploading task videos every weekday. So stay tuned for more content. This week I will continue covering 5 tasks from level 1 of our Python development internship at Cognifiz Technologies. Next week we will move on to level 2 and the week after that we will tackle level 3. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to Code Campus for more programming tutorials and internship task guides. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy coding. See you in the next video.